Hey guys, so when I got a dog, um, I wanted to like for her to have clothes, but I always thought that the clothes were always really expensive. They're always like nine dollars, eight dollars. I think that is a lot to spend on a dog personally. Um, so I came up with this way to make my dog clothes out of clothes that I don't use or wear or don't fit or too small or too big, you know. So this is the way that is perfect for any dog. All you need is to have one um, like sweater or one of whatever it is you want to make um, that fits your dog in a good size. This is like the perfect and easiest way I think personally to make dog clothes. So keep on watching. You guys will see how it is I do it. And if you guys have any questions on how I cut anything or how I measured anything or anything like that, which by the way I really didn't measure anything, if you guys have any questions like that, um, feel free to leave it down below. And let's get on to the video. So you're going to take your scissors and pretty much you are going to cut off the seams of whatever it is you're using, whether it's a pair of old jeans or a shirt. In this case, I am using um, one of my sister's old sweaters. So yeah, you're just pretty much going to cut the seams um, and you don't need the sleeve part. And then um, the next thing you're going to do is just cut off the shoulder part. Um, but don't cut off the collar because the collar kind of helps us and it's going to make it easier. So we're not going to have to sew kind of like the neck area for your dog or puppy's um, neck area. So yeah, now we're just cutting off the shoulder part. And then you're going to be left with this beautiful piece of fabric. So now you're just going to take whatever doggy piece of clothing you have and lay it on top of your piece of fabric and just make sure you lay it as flat as you can um, and yeah now what we're gonna do is take a fabric or a sharpie and just kind of add an inch um, around the um, piece of clothing and you're just gonna pretty much draw it all the way up to the top but it gets kind of tricky um, once you kind of reach like the stomach area. The easiest way I find is to kind of roll it on the back side. And you see um, how I'm kind of leaning the fabric over because it is a round shape. So just leaning it over like that makes it a lot easier to um, get like the perfect shape to your little doggy clothes. So an easy trick is to, as you can see, I kind of like did like can almost connect the lines. So that is like the easiest way to make a straight or a somewhat straighter line. So now what I'm going to do is cut off part of the collar area just so that later we can sew it on straight. So cut as much as you need just so it can be straight like you can see right there. Um, and then cut off the act excess excess fabric or the fabric that's pretty much extra and leaving about an inch again just to be on the safe side and then doing the same to the opposite side so at this point is a perfect time to take your little puppy friend and measure um, like always dogs are kind of hard to like especially when there's something new so make sure you grab like a little bit of treats just to like kind of coax them into staying in place um, and now you are just going to cut it out and just following the line. Since we left an inch extra, it's perfect because you can just follow the line without worrying whether it's too big or too small. So now we're going to be working on the part where the doggy's legs come out. So the same part we're going to use at the, as a bottom, that way we don't have to sew, so we're like kind of cutting off on the sewing, making this as easy as possible. So you're going to kind of measure um, about how big of a piece you need. Um, this is probably the hardest part, um, cutting and making sure you don't cut the original doggy clothing. So just cut that out and then we're going to stick it inside of the doggy clothing that you already have. Um, to measure it and if you can cut some of the like extra fabric do that because it makes it a little bit easier and there won't be so much extra fabric on the inside 
So go ahead and put that on the inside of your original doggy clothing and put it as flat as you possibly can. Um, just putting, making it as flat as you can is going to help so you don't make any mistakes on your cutting. Um, so those two holes where the doggy legs stick out, you can trace them um, and add kind of about an inch again, or actually half an inch is even better. Um, the least amount of fabric you add in this part is probably better. Um, so you're just going to trace in kind of the center to make sure that you kind of have them even. And I like just folding it in half and then just making sure that everything is nice and symmetrical. So once you cut those areas out, it should look kind of like this. It's kind of like a weird shaped eye. Um, so just fold that in half and make sure everything is nice and even. So make sure you save these in case you're going to make another doggy outfit. It makes it easier. So now you're just going to sew all the seams up so that we have a nice finished piece of fabric. And you also want to sew kind of the collar area so that it's nice and looks a lot more smoother and almost like it was made that way. So this part is where the dog's legs stick out underneath, like where the tummy area is. So all I'm doing is sewing it just so that there isn't any fraying and so that it looks a lot more clean and polished. And don't forget you have to do it to both sides, just an FYI. So for this last part, we're just sewing together the collar area. And if your puppy is a little bit smaller around the neck area, I always like to sew a little bit up. Just because Bailey's neck is a little bit smaller, I guess, than her body. So let's try this puppy on! <laughs> Um, so yeah, Bailey kind of didn't want to wear clothes. She's, she's getting better at wearing clothes, not gonna lie. Um, and she just loves licking my hands whenever I am around her face area, which is kind of funny. Voila! This is what our finished puppy sweater looks like. watching I hope this was easy for you and especially if you have dogs or like or cats even if you guys have anything you guys want to say leave it down below make sure to thumbs up this video and if you like these kinds of videos make sure to subscribe for this type of video and other kind of videos um, so yeah I will talk to you all in the next video oh and if you guys are wondering what is on my face what is happening right here um, the next video will be a video on how to get this look. So I will talk to you later. Bye guys. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click the link below in order to find out more.